Dear colleagues, this is a hard white cataract. Nuclear sclerosis in this case is, I think, grade 4. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us watch the surgical steps. The main incision has been made. Now, this is a side port on the right side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now, this is another side port on the left side, the same distance away from the main incision. And now, the capsule is to be stained and I uh, use an air bubble to use the dye. The dye is injected underneath this air bubble and after 5-6 seconds the dye is washed out. This is a bit of adrenaline. It may help in keeping the people dilated. Viscoelastic substance in this case being used is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and no other viscoelastic substance. The SPMC is spread over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. And now I am going to do capsulorexis and you will be able to see rexis very nicely in this case since the capsule is stained. The capsule is incised and a nice flap which is very easy to hold with the uterata forceps is raised. Now I hold this flap with uterata forceps. Go anticlockwise. You can go clockwise. I go anticlockwise and perform this continuous curvilinear capsulorexis. That's it. The rexis is made and now hydro dissection is done. The cataract is hard so only a little bit of fluid is injected just under the anterior capsular rim here also. So at two points small amounts of VSS have been injected and then now the nucleus is free from the capsule and it is rotating. Viscoelastic substance is injected again and now the tip of the phaco handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. This is a totally unedited surgery and you are watching each and every step of the surgery. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3. Yes, the phaco tip is being used to remove some superficial cortical lens matter and then the tip is turned and the bevel is made up and now in this case I'm going to do direct chop which I call submarine chop. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision. It travels through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator. I'm in phaco 2 mode and as it reaches near the opposite equator it is chopped. Now it is held at another place and same it goes through the substance of the nucleus and it is chopped. Here the this part of the nucleus is held and it is along the first crack the two fragments are separated. That's it. The nucleus has been divided into four fragments. Now each fragment is emulsified and removed. Dear colleagues, this is a very economic machine. You can use any machine, even Upper Samis Galaxy Pro or Amos mm. Compact, whatever machine you use, or Laureate, whatever machine you use, if you raise your competence to another level, you can do very safe, very fast surgery. Yes, once you become competent automatically you do fast surgery and you don't waste time in the anterior chamber endothelial cell loss become minimal and it becomes very good surgery yes the nucleus has been managed see this piece of nucleus it is also removed now viscoelastic substance is injected some epinuclear material is near the left side port. 
we have to remove it first before I remove other cortex. So I introduce the Simco and Scott this nuclear material, epinuclear material out of the entry chamber. And now very little cortical matter is there in this case because it was hard nucleus, because the epinucleus, cortex, everything was almost incorporated into the nucleus. However, whatever cortex is there, it is removed. You can use whatever you want, like bimanual IA or coaxial IA, or this very simple thing, uh, Simco cannula. This is a 23 gauze Simco cannula. The side ports are about 3 clock hours away from the main incision, little large, say about 1.5 or 1.6 millimeter, and this little large side port will reduce the astigmatism produced by the main incision. That's it. The nucleus, epinucleus cortex is removed. And now, in this case, a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens is being implanted under irrigating fluid. See, this irrigation keeps the antechamber formed and this lens goes into the capsular bag. This lens is superphobe from Apasami Associates. Very nice lens, opens gradually And now, little bit of moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber. The side ports are hydrated. The stroma on either side of these stab incisions are hydrated and these stab incisions become waterproof, watertight. Water cannot leak out. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Whatever viscoelastic substance sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out at this time. The capsular bag is also irrigated. And that's it. Now the anterior chamber is formed and the case is concluded. After the anterior chamber is formed, please check the integrity of the wounds. There should not be any leakage from any side. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Thank you very much for watching.